What's up, guys? Here's Turbo Rabbit. Broken again. So, two nights ago, I was driving around and uh, had an intermittent issue where the clutch pedal would randomly get rock hard at the top of the travel. Would not go down at all. But it only happened like maybe two or three times. And it was very quick. Once I noticed the stiffness, I backed my foot off, pushed the clutch back down, and it felt normal. So, I wasn't sure exactly what that was. Um, anyway, long story short, uh, about an hour later, I went to shift from first into second gear. Clutch was at the top of the travel. Rock hard wouldn't go down at all. Couldn't continue driving it. So I pulled it out of gear, pulled over in the parking lot, had it towed home. Um, yesterday after work, I got home. I decided to mess with it a little bit. So I got in the car. Now the car sat for about a day. So I got in the car. Uh, and push the clutch down. It felt pretty normal. The pressure was about normal. It went down to the floor So I decided to start the car went through the gears and let the clutch up When I went to push the clutch back down for the second time, it was rock hard again. Didn't go anywhere um, Now I started to try to see how far it could go with the clutch without forcing it down I was giving it some pressure and it was moving a little bit but it was really really firm and I got about 40% of the way down and it just, something snapped and the pedal went to the floor. My first thought was that the plastic rod on the master cylinder, which is attached to the back of the clutch pedal, uh, my first thought was that that snapped. But when I looked underneath the car, underneath the uh, steering wheel, at the clutch pedal, the master cylinder was still intact and it did not break. Um, instead, when I popped the hood and looked under the hood, at the master cylinder on the firewall, I noticed that it was wet with fluid, so maybe it blew a seal out, or I cracked the master cylinder, something like that. There was excessive pressure ended up breaking the master cylinder by me trying to force the pedal down. So I was thinking, man, could air in the system do that? Well, I talked to a few technicians that are much better than myself. They said, no, it's going to be smushy or go to the floor. It's not going to have that much um, high pressure from air in the line. <clears throat> Um, one technician said more than likely the slave cylinder on the transmission got hung up on the shaft, uh, output shaft of the transmission, and it's not moving freely anymore, and that was binding up, and then that, of course, led to me breaking the master. I guess that's a possibility, but I want to show you guys what I found, which is blowing my mind right now. I have no idea how it happened. So anyway, I took the master cylinder out. Um, it was very weird because normally... You unplug the electrical connector on the master. Um, you push a tab down on the very top, which is where the reservoir line goes from the brake uh, fluid reservoir to the master. There's a tab you push down, and you twist the master to the left, and you can pull it out. I couldn't twist mine at all, so I put a giant wrench on it. That one. You grab that shit, and I basically broke it off. I, I mean, I got it out, but it took a lot of strength. So here's what I found. And of course when I got it out, I hammered it with that wrench and broke it apart so actually there's like a makeshift cutaway of the master cylinder. Alright, so this is inside the master cylinder. When you push the clutch pedal down, it pushes the rod out, forces fluid down, which pushes the uh, slave cylinder out, which disengages the clutch. Right? And when you let the clutch out, it comes back. Now, all that seems to be fine. The uh, clutch line goes up in here like this. Let's see if I can get it to focus first. It goes just like that, snug right in place. And that's where that goes, all right? Now, as soon as I pulled the clutch line out and got the master cylinder on the ground before I broke it apart, I found this inside of it this little rubber piece right here and I, I don't know where it goes uh, off the top of my head I can't think of where this guy would have been inside this uh, fluid system um, I looked at the base of the cap here I pulled the uh, reservoir cap off the brake fluid and looked at the bottom of it to see if you know some kind of weird 
rubber seal hanging out that came missing it's not from there it's not from the end of the uh, clutch line it does not look like it comes from the shaft at all it's a solid piece with a circ clip around it uh, it does not come from the feed line because that's just a, a plastic hose that goes around here so I don't know where this rubber piece came from uh, I'm, I don't think it came from the clutch bleeder block. Um, I guess it's a possibility. Now, here's the thing. It's not the restrictor valve people are talking about. This is soft silicone. This is squishy. All right, first off. Second off, before I, when I did the six-speed swap, and I, I think I showed it in the video of my six-speed swap on the Rabbit, before I put everything in, I took the bleeder block. Uh, let me see if I can get a little picture of it that guy right there all right I took that guy off and I put a drill bit through the center of it from left to right or vice versa uh, since there's a it basically bottlenecks inside there to restrict cl uh, the clutch fluid so it's more of a softer clutch engagement I guess it's very popular for uh, the GTI guys to drill the uh, bleeder block out so it's more of a free-flowing uh, structure for the clutch fluid so I drilled that out and it was pretty clean it's only solid plastic inside there there was nothing else you know that I could have seen to come loose I always look at little details like that so I don't think it came from there but I am kind of clueless tell me what you guys think does this little guy look familiar and where might it have come from So, I'm hoping my slave cylinder is still in good condition and working. I'm gonna buy a new master cylinder. Um, I'm gonna buy some more stuff I need for the clutch pedal assembly to get it feeling brand new. And put it together, bleed the clutch system, and see what happens. So that appears to have been my problem. Physical obstruction, very weird.